Hello, this is Christopher with Puget Systems. Uh, I have Houston helping today to show how to remove a video card from an Echo Pro. Uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and start here with removing the two screws at the back uh, on the panel. You know, you'll notice that you want the panel with a single side uh, vent. You do not want the other one. It's got multiple vents, and that's not the one we want. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and slide the panel back and off. And you'll notice that the fan is still connected, so we want to just disconnect that. Uh, that can be kind of tight on some systems, so just watch out. Uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and remove these six screws that Houston is pointing out. He's going to go ahead and start unscrewing these. Um, while he's doing this, I just want to point out, and he's actually going to uh, point out here in a second, uh, these SATA connections. You can decide if you want to to disconnect those. Uh, do note that there might be some hot glue holding them in place, uh, typically with the, uh, the larger connector. Uh, in this case, we're not going to. We're just going to go ahead and actually uh, um, slide this out. We're going to actually kind of fold this over, and we're just going to be careful so that we don't damage those. Uh, and it's a little easier, so you don't have to do as much. Anyway, we've got these screws out. So we're going to go ahead and press a little latch. You'll notice he's trying to point it out here. There's a little latch that kind of keeps the video card uh, in the socket, and he's going to release that, and then we're going to pull the uh, whole assembly up. comes right up. Then we're going to fold it over and you'll see here that he's got a uh, uh, bracket that's actually holding the video card itself to the assembly. We're going to go ahead and unscrew this screw on the side. Uh, you do want to be very careful with this. Uh, this specific screw matters uh, so make sure you got the right one. It's got a specific head. Um, so when you put it back it'll actually fit. Uh, none of the other ones is going to be long enough. Uh, he is actually going to point out here that uh, you can, he's going to remove this screw here real quick. Uh, one of the things you'll notice though is that this, this assembly, you could just leave this whole assembly together and just pull out the, the top screw. Uh, we're doing the whole thing just in case you need to do that for some reason. You just unscrewed the power here, or unplug the power. And last but not least, we're going to unscrew the two uh, back panel screws. Uh, these on, on a typical case, this is actually these screws would be the only ones holding it into the slot, and it comes right out. Uh, one thing I want to point out: there is a uh, adapter. It goes into that PCI Express slot, and usually it's easier if you're going to be replacing the card to pull that out and plug it into the new card. Uh, also, keep in mind that sometimes it comes out with the card, <laughs> so if you don't see it, check the card that just came out. Uh, he's going to go ahead and put this back in. One little thing we're going to notice here in just a moment is ah, he's going to start screwing this in and what we're going to see here is that uh, we actually want to plug the uh, power in for this before we do that uh, and particularly if you get a new car that uses different power connections you'll want to make sure you get those installed first uh, but also just it's easier to plug this in with the card out because uh, it's kind of a tight clearance here uh, you also notice it's got kind of two little uh, a lot of these things have a, they'll have a six pin and then a two pin um, you just want to it's, you just want to make sure they're all plugged in if you're using an 8-pin video card. If you're using a 6-pin video card, it'll just be the 6 pins. Okay, so he's got that back in. Oh, you'll see I just... Uh, there we go. And we're going to screw these in. Okay, he's going to get the bracket back on. Uh, you'll notice it's got kind of a couple of notches here. Um, you can't really see them very well in the video, but there's a couple of little circular notches. Uh, and those will fit into the uh, adapter. Uh, the assembly, rather. He's going to go ahead and screw that in. You'll also notice it looks like I just picked up a, a screw. That was, uh, I accidentally dropped a screw that was off to the side there. And... Uh, I thought it was belonging to this. So there's going to be a spare screw at the end. Ah, here we go. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get the bracket on here. Um, now this is like slide into place, you just want it firmly in place. Speaking of screws, um, you do want to make sure that you actually have like a bowl or something to put them in. I, I see a lot of people try to put them on the, like a side, off to the side and they end up losing them really easy. That's not fun. And then we're going to go ahead and slide this back in. Uh, you'll notice the back where he's kind of messing with right now. That's usually the hardest place. Um, just 
it's sometimes it's a little weird to get in. Uh, he actually has a pretty good time with it, so you know that worked out. And he's just making sure everything's all firm, and we're going to screw this in. So those six screws that we pulled out at the beginning, we're going to go ahead and put those in. Uh, before he puts in the last four screws, or around the same time, you'll see he um, actually is going to check a cable here in just a moment. Basically, the uh, there's a couple of cables that are going to get underneath there, and if they uh, aren't in the right spot, yep, there he goes, they'll uh, kind of mess you up there. So you want to make sure you check first uh, before you start screwing everything down back here. Make sure they're not in the way. Screw number four, five, and six. And we're going to get the panel back over here. We're just going to go ahead and plug the fan back in. Uh, you might have a system without that fan, but most of them are going to. And we slide it back on. We're going to put two more screws in. And there we go. That's it. Uh, hopefully this will help you out.